Hello everyone, this is Zhong5 and welcome to the Global Massage Tutorial Review. And today so we'll be looking at the 2009 release by Mattel of the DC Universe Classics Action Figure Review. And today's Action Figure Review, we'll be looking at the Wave 7 of the figure number 5 that comes with the Collect and Collect piece, the left arm of Adam Smasher. We'll be looking at Big Bada. Now I got this straight from eBay for 50 ringgit there and the only reason why it I went straight to eBay to get this figure is because a lot of toy as in well throughout my area and other areas are selling a lot of big bother figures but the problem is I just don't want the alternate version the alternate variant itself the unhelmeted big bother version because that looks really weird and ugly looking so I opted to get this straight from eBay as cheap as possible and well, when they arrived, the whole entire packaging looks pretty beat up, as you can see there. Well, as long as the figure is still alright, I'm still okay. Now, let's take a look at the inside of the packaging itself. You've got a big bar down there holding the accessory for the Mega Rod, and the Mega Rod is a bit bent thanks to the packaging style. And below her is the left arm of Adam Smasher. Now, behind her is the list of the characters, all in the comic style appear in this wave. You got Big Brother up there, Ocean Warrior Aquaman, Flash, Kid Flash, Captain Cole, Booster Go and Skeets, and Blue Beetle. Now at the back of the packaging, showcasing the wave itself that comes with the parts. We have the Ocean Warrior Aquaman that comes with the upper and middle torso, which I already reviewed. Kid Flash that comes with the right arm, which I already reviewed. Blue Beetle that comes with the right leg, which I already reviewed. Booster Go that comes with the left leg, and this is the classic version of Booster Go. The other variant version is the modern version, where Skate's well, face can be opened to reveal Mr. Mind inside, which I already reviewed. Big Bada that comes with the left arm, which I'm reviewing to now. Captain Cole that comes with the head and lower torso, which I already reviewed. And finally, we have the Flash that comes with the figure stand. With all the parts combined, it becomes Adam Smasher. And this section here, we have a nice little biography of Big Bada, stating, Born on the evil warlike planet Apocalypse, Bada was specially trained in all forms of combat by Granny Goodness. However, she fell in love with Scott Free, a child of peaceful Neo Genesis raised on Apocalypse, and used her warrior skills to help him escape to Earth. Bada accompanied Scott and they married after he assumed the name of Mr. Miracle, world's greatest escape artist. Since then, she has fought evil alongside her husband, both of them serving in the Justice League of America. At the bottom, statistics, first appearance, Mr. Miracle, first series in bracket, number 1, September 1971. Real name, Bada Free. Occupation, Freedom Fighter. Base of Operations, New Genesis. Special abilities, enhanced strength and stamina, mastery of hand-to-hand -hand combat, mega rod serves as club, energy blaster, and temporary jet propulsion system. Very nice. So, without further ado, let's open up this packaging so we can molest her. Be right back. And we're back of the ring figure and there is the stuff out from packaging. Now let's take a look at the left arm of Adam Smasher. Now the mold for the left arm is exactly the same as the right arm itself as you can see here. So the details is exactly the same. A lot of nice veins popping out. Even the skin is being stretched. Very nice. Nice little details on the veins on the hand. The wrist guard here is very nice with all the strappings. And nice little details on the thumb as well. Thumbnail, the wrinkles, very nice. However, the paint job is very sloppy. There's a bit of gray smudges on this section here. Just below the elbow, there's a lot of bleeding of the gray paint job to the flesh tone skin. Not really clean at all. And so there's this section here as well. Some of the rivers are not painted as well. And some of the rivers managed to bled onto the wrist guard, so it's not really clean. However, this is just only the left arm, so I'm just gonna put it on one side. Now let's take a look at Big Bada's accessory. She only comes with one, which is the Mega Rod. Now the Mega Rod here is all, well, deformed, thanks to the packaging itself. 
small little word of China is located here very small nice little rivets nice little details there and the whole entire thing is painted in very dull gold what's pretty is that the mega rod is well really deformed a simple accessory then we'll take a look at Big Bada's paint job now Big Bada's paint job is mostly alright but there's quite a number of well areas that is not really well painted but let's take a look at the overall paint job there the entire helmet here is made of a yellow plastic as you can see there which painted with this metallic really dark blue paint job the top section of the forehead here is painted in red with a small little symbol very nice eyes is also painted you get to see uh, blue eyes with I would say white pupils uh, lips are painted very nice the flesh tone skin of course is not painted it's just pure plastic material lower section of the helm itself is also painted the same material as the helm you get to see the inside of the armor itself is also painted with red linings red buttons very nice she wore this gold armor the entire cape is not painted it's just pure plastic material the bands are all painted in black and each of the buttons there the large buttons are painted in gold but some of the paint job doesn't look very nice at all this look more yellow in color rather than gold and there's a bit of blue paint just much under the edges there the gloves are not painted of course such pure plastic material now her skirt here as you can see really nice paint job but not all of it are really well done because there's some portion that is not painted very well as you can see there a bit of gold showing up at the edges of the black stripes very nice the scale mill is very well painted because to see a lot of nice details there on the back portion I'm gonna twist the entire but on one side see a little bit of bleeding going on a lot of bleeding on this side and also a lot of smudges here as well the paint job is mostly alright but let's take a look at the figures mold the mold is very nicely done I really like the mold however thanks to the packaging itself you will notice that the left arm is a bit bent on one side it's really not nice now the scale mail here is very nice in details as you can see and all the bands there very nice in mold the armor the skirt is an add-on piece of course as you can see there now what I really don't like about this mold especially on her hips there as you can see this section here is all flat out and she has really big butt really big butt Furthermore, Big Bada here is supposed to be a really huge woman, taller than a normal human being. And she is extremely skinny in build for this figure, very skinny at all. She doesn't even look muscular at all. The worst part is, is that her waist here is extremely thin, yet her butt here is out of proportion. It's not really well done. Her arms are very thin. I really don't like the very thin version of Big Bada. The details are nice, it's just that her build is incorrect. You got the cape at the back, which is made of a semi hard plastic material, and you can see that this portion here is a bit deformed thanks to the packaging itself. I really hate how Mattel packaged the DC Universe Classic figures. They always place the cape at the back portion of the inside package like so clipping it like so 
and due to the constraint of the hole itself it tends to squeeze the top portion of the cape like that I really don't like it furthermore by posing the figure in a very dynamic pose you can see this one arm here is going inwards and one arm is going outwards I really don't like that however the details of the mode is very nice the helm is actually quite nicely done nice details there her face mode is very nicely done as well you get to see the eyes the nose the lips the armor pieces are quite nicely done as well so that's the skirt portion here very nice I just don't like the butt portion very nicely done with the details now let's take a look at the figure's articulation now Bada's articulation is one of the things that I really don't like now for the head itself due to the helmet she can only look a little bit on the left and right and barely able to even pivot up and down because of the entire helmet actually hindering her articulation torso here can bend forward and barely able to bend backwards because it's being hindered by the cape waist joint here can turn 360 degrees as shown like so shoulder joints here can turn 360 degrees and lift the arms this far and upper bicep here you can see the upper bicep is a bit it's not really well connected as it, thanks to the packaging actually it's like it's about to pop off sooner or later now so the upper bicep can swivel 360 degrees and bend the elbow this far wrist joint here can turn 360 degrees now the hip joints is something I really don't like because of the skirt itself so she is limited on the hip joints she barely able to move forward as you can see here barely able to move forward or anywhere she can spread the legs far this far but unable to move the legs forward because being constrained by the skirt itself now the midsection of the thigh itself that's where the swivel cut is so you can actually turn 360 degrees like so knee joint here can bend this far and then we have ankle joint here that pivots downwards and upwards overall the design of Big Banda well the mold and the details are very nice but the build is not really well done the build is very small and thin and she has a really flat area at the back portion of the butt here and really big butt really big butt I like my I like my woman with big butts but this is ridiculous I mean it doesn't look very nice at all and again I really hate how Mattel packaged their DC Universe Classics figures by posing the figures inside in a dynamic position you also warp the hands so that's really a bad point there I really don't like it that way not, not only they warp the hands they also warp the accessory as well now Big Bala can actually hold the accessory of course so if I'm gonna give a rating out of this Big Bala is actually not bad it's just her size is not really big enough considering her name is called Big Bada, she is supposed to be much more taller than this and much more well well muscularly built body rather than this really thin with really big ties there so if I'm gonna give a rating out of this I would say I'll give it a nice 5 out of 10 the details are nice it's just that the proportion is incorrect and I just can't look over here at the back portion of the butt there and I really don't like how Mattel did their packaging for their figures that warp their arms and the accessory there yes 5 out of 10 for Big Bada and I thank you all for watching this is Lucy05 and I'm signing off